Hi guys, in this video we write three functions to compute a geometric series. Let me show you first what this function do. So we have geometric underscore series takes two arguments a and r where a is the coefficient and r is the common ratio. This function returns one value. In this case we know that this is the converging value we will see in a moment. Let's see now geometric underscore series 2. This function takes an additional argument n equal 10, and this is the number of terms we want. This function returns the sum of the first n numbers. And as you can see, this, this sum, these numbers, they are converging to this value. And the series is converging because of this r that is in absolute value less than 1. Now, geometric underscore series 3, the same argument as before, but this series is returning the n term. And as you can see, the n term is getting smaller and smaller. Geometric underscore series 2 and 3 they can also return a plot as a result by adding here as argument plot equal true. And now we can, we can see here that the series is converging to 3. And at the same time, the n term is getting smaller and smaller, converging to 0. So let's write this function. We need NumPy and Pandas, so let's import them. And now let's write the first function. So geometric underscore series computed the geometric series where A is the coefficient of each term and R is the common ratio between adjacent terms. And as you can see, we have also N that is by default set equal to none. So for the absolute value of R greater than 1, the sum of the first n plus 1 terms of a geometric series up to and including the r to the n term is this, this formula here. For the absolute value of r less than 1, as n approaches infinity, the absolute value of r must be less than 1 for the series to converge. The sum then becomes this formula. For r equal 1, all of the terms of the series are the same and the series is infinite. For r equal minus 1, the terms take two values alternatively. So let's code. If the absolute value of r is greater than 1, we code this formula. a times 1 minus r to the power of n plus 1, everything over 1 minus r. Else, if absolute value of r is less than 1, we code this formula. A over 1 minus r. Now let's consider the case r equal 1 and r equal minus 1. We are dealing with these two cases in a different way. We generate an s object by using the repeat function from NumPy. So we repeat a n times. Then we set this s object as a string and we send to a list. Then we consider two cases if a is greater than 0 or less than 0. If a is greater than 0, we are joining the s object by using a plus sign. Else, we just use joining the s object with no space here. Else, if r equal minus 1, we generate the next object by using array from NumPy, a and minus a, and we use the tile function always from NumPy, to construct an array by repeating x the, num the number of times given by n. Then again we set s as a string, we send to a list. And we consider again the two cases, if a is greater than 0 or less than 0. In this case, we uh, use a for loop to place the plus sign in front of the positive number. This will be clear when we, when we will see the result. At the end, we return the GS object. So let's run. And now let's test it. 
So we have a geometric series with a equal to 4, r equal to 10, and n equal to 5. And this is the value written uh, by the, the function. Let's now increase the number n from 5 to 6. And as you can see, this number is much larger, so this area is not, con is not converging. And we can see that because r is greater than 1. Now let's see the case with r equal uh, 1. And as you can see, we place this plus uh, in front of 3. Now let's set uh, a as a negative, so minus 3. And we have this as a return. As you can see, this are return as a string. Let's see now converging cases. And now a case with r equal minus 1. And as you can see now, we just put a plus in front of the positive 3. This is the last example. By the way, these are examples uh, taken from Wikipedia. Now let's move to geometric underscore series 2 and geometric underscore series 3. Now we have an additional argument, plot, that by default is a set equal to false. Now for the absolute value of r different from 1, we are using this formula here. Okay? The case for r equal 1 and r, uh, r equal minus 1, I did not change. So it's the same as before. So let's see now. We use a for loop. So if absolute value of r is different from 1, we generate a gs, a list, with no elements. And another object, l, that is a list with a, a, with a series of numbers, and we use these numbers for the loop. For n in l, we use that formula to compute s, and we append s to gs. As I said, the case r equal 1, r equal minus 1 are not changed. So let's move to the result. Now, if plot equal false, we return gs. Else, if the absolute value of r is different from 1 and plot is equal to true, we use pandas to build a data frame uh, with gs and l. We set the column names and we return the plot. So again, we use the plot function from pandas. Else, if the absolute value of r equal 1 and the plot equal true, since we did not change uh, the ca these cases here, r equal 1 and r equal minus 1, the value return are, uh, are strings. So we just print this message. The plot does not work with absolute value of r equal to 1. So let's run. And now let's test it. Let's start with the case r equal minus 1 and plot equal true. And as you can see, we have this message printed. Now let's consider the same case as before. So a equal 4, r equal 10, and n equal 5. Now as you can see, these numbers are, are getting larger and larger. Let's increase uh, n from 5 to 6. And now this number is even larger. And now we can plot. We just set equal true, plot equal true. And you can see that this series is diverging. This is getting larger and larger, and you can see from here. Now let's consider the, the first case that I showed you at the beginning. So this is the converging series. And as you can see, these numbers, they are converging to, to 3. Let's plot it. And now we have the plot test result. In another case. Also, this series is converging, but as you can see, it's converging to 1. 
Now let's check a case with uh, the absolute value of r less than uh, 1 but with a negative sign here. So we are using minus 0 0.8. And as you can see, this series is oscillating but is converging. Now let's move to geometric underscore series 3. Basically, it's, it's the same. We just need to change here the formula. So we just made this change here. The rest is the same as before. Let's run. Let's test. And as you can see, the end term is getting larger and larger. This is the same series from the, from the beginning, and as you can see, the end term is getting smaller and smaller, converging to zero. Again, we can see that here, the series is converging, and the end term converging to zero. Now, this is a case with r equal minus 1. Now, let's check the case with a negative value greater than, uh, in absolute value greater than 1. And as you can see now, the series is oscillating, but is diverging. So, that's all for uh, this video. We are doing the same in R, but in R we are building a shiny app. So if you're interested, you can see the same code in, uh, in R. Okay, I hope the video is useful and see you in the next video.